Hey guys, I'm making another tutorial right now, and it's on symbols in NMHCC. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use symbols and what I know about them. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with symbols. You can make whole animations with symbols, and it's it's useful. So what you want to do first is on a different layer than everything else. You want to make it one symbol per layer. So if you want to draw, let's say. If you want like a mm, a soccer ball, you will no. Okay, if you want a basketball, all right, you draw your basketball. Like this, and then you draw your basketball. So. One sec. Let's just say that this is good enough. All right. We'll say this is good enough. All right. So now we have our basketball or ball, whatever you want to call it. Now, just you can either select it like this by clicking here and going like this, or you can just click on its layer and it selects the whole thing, so you don't miss anything. Now you want to click modify, convert to symbol, and I usually use graphic. There's movie clip, but it's for something else. Um, and you want to call, you want to name your symbols because whenever you animate and you have a lot, um, it gets kind of confusing. So now you have a symbol. It's a whole object. You can make it bigger and smaller, but if you want it to change. Uh, with n and um, with and height at the same time you want to make sure that this chain is attached and then whenever you scroll on one side it makes it bigger and smaller instead of like this and um, you can also rotate it so that's um, really good you can change the where you want it to rotate around like this um so now you can do plenty of stuff with this. You can go in library and now you have your symbol here. You can put another another symbol. Whoa. You can put another symbol here. And now see it's now you have two symbols right of the same thing if you want to change something in its symbol you go like this let's say you want to change the okay, okay. let's say you want to change the ball to a green ball instead right so now you would take the ball and put green in it but now if you notice it changed all its symbols that are the same will change. So now, instead of changing each symbol, um, each symbol that's the same, you can just change one and it will change the whole thing, which is pretty useful. And um, yeah, so that's pretty useful. We're just gonna delete this. And um, now that we have our symbol, we can do a bunch of stuff. We can make it we can animate it using tweens so that it works it looks nicer so let's say in 10 frames we're gonna click F6 to duplicate the frame so now you have this much and then he at the last frame whatever you want to do to the ball uh, first we'll do this uh, we'll put a little background Now we're going to do this with our black. We're going to make like that. There we go. And then we can fill it up like so. Like so. So now it's 
and we'll change the color to light gray. So now we have our little ramp thing and we're gonna move the ball around it. So now right here, let's say we want the ball to go right here. But now the ball also has to roll, right? Right. But now the ball also has to roll to roll. So you'll want it to roll one whole thing. So now it's like this. Right click between both thing, uh, keyframes. Cl click classic tween and now you have a ball. Notice how it's rolling the wrong way because it uses it makes it so that the less movement to get from one frame to the other so it rotates counterclockwise instead of clockwise but we want it to rotate clockwise so in between both things make a another frame f6 and you will want to rotate it like this so now it should roll sideways and now you do the same thing from here to there rotate it sideways so now you have kind of a rolling ball see like that there that's nice now you go to the fifth frame F5 to make it longer and then here F6 to duplicate it and then it's gonna be going straight like here rotate a little bit and I think I'm gonna make, put it a little closer and then you're gonna want to right click between both frames create classic tween and now like this make, I'll make it a little longer there and now I want to make it go down super fast so I'll go like this far ahead make it longer um, and put it all the way down so now it's in a roll so now that you have that like that you can make your classic tween and it'll look nice except if you saw it doesn't spin it doesn't rotate here so and it's a little long so I'll make it go two frames or yeah a little longer so make it go maybe this long all right there that's that should be nice Let's see and now because it's not rotating we'll go between Wait, okay, we're, we're going to go between and make a frame here, rotate it like this, go here, rotate it like so, and it should roll. There we go. It looks pretty nice, pretty nice. And now if you want to make ease in, ease out, if you want to make it look nicer, um, you're gonna ease in right here so you're gonna click on one of the frames in here go in property and put some ease in maybe 50 so now it should go slower and then fast you, it's hard to tell because there's not that much room between the frames we'll go 50 again on ease out so that it goes slow fast slow so now if you want to watch your animation just go control play I mean if you want to watch it you are going to go control test and it'll show you your animation alright now it'll show you your animation hope you like this tutorial and see you next time